30 minutes to, to cry. All right. Tell us a lot podcast. <laughs> Everybody needs to find out already because obviously you guys didn't see us together over the weekend. And this, fuck, I think, I want to say this will be the last fucking podcast. We got to get to achievement, but we're getting to achievement. I got to take a shot. Because, fuck. Toast. Fuck, fool, hurry up. Nah, this is, this is like, but obviously, host Dusko, that's Dylan. And for once in our life, in this whole journey of podcasting, this is probably the only weekend that we both didn't want to be here, but. (laughs) Why are you laughing? Bro, all right. That's, so that's, that, how, that's how I cope with sadness. I like. Let's talk about this because you guys are wondering, all right, why weren't we together this weekend? Why was I in, Me- in Mexico and why was he in Coachella? Why was he invited? Why did I go over there? Blah, blah, blah. whoop de doo Wait, I was invited, by the way. You were invited, <laughs> but because of what happened during the week. Um, shit I, didn't just, wanna, I didn't want to spend that weekend with you. Yeah, nah, this was, you know, when you work with your friend, best friend, you know, you get into arguments, especially if it's about business and about time and shit like that. So, mm-hmm. honestly, we got to a fucking argument. We couldn't seem how to fix this and shit. Just because the guys were with us, Jose, Pepe and Jose, like, we didn't fight, but. I'll drop you anytime, one boy. <laughs> I'll drop you anytime. <laughs> All right, dog. nah, we can't do this, bro. What the? F- you all know how we do, bro. Let's talk about the cheese man, though. All right, but let's go. Let's get this to is it. not let's the last podcast. We are back. Dusko Dylan. Yes, how sir. we do this. But why were we not together over the weekend? Why did we not take this trip together? Together. <clears throat> and first and foremost, let's for everybody that's thinking, oh, the, he wasn't invited. Only Dusko was not No, 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 no. We both were invited to the wedding. Mm-hmm. Both of us. But why didn't you go, Dylan? I had better things to do. No, I'm just playing. Oh. No, no. No, no, I'm fucking around. No, 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 no. No, um, why didn't I go, first of all? Because I can't go to Mexico. That's the first reason. Biggest reason? Uh, I explained it to them. I, I think I told them once. Yeah. He was here, and he, he, I was like, bro, I can't make it. Just fucking around with him, right? And obviously, he had, like, a lot of things on his mind. So he goes, no me digas eso, que estoy el otro. I was like, sí, no voy a poder ir. He goes, me va a encabronar si me dices otra vez. <laughs> and I was like, no, es que no puedo ir a México. And he's like, yeah. ah, okay, pues así está bien, así está bien. I was like, oh, shit. So, yeah, that's the main reason why I didn't go to their wedding. But, no, nah, hubiera sido un pinche desmadre. Uh, it was a uh, desmadre. From the point of view of, of me being in the wedding, it's, think about this. We landed on Wednesday, landed on Wednesday. Shout out to the Estrada Twins, que es un pedo viajar con ellas, primeramente. Um, and let me tell a lot of people, maybe do it in the comment section, your preference. But Volaris usually has deals when you travel throughout the year. And there was deals that for, during this time that I bought my ticket, there was deals to, to fly out from Tijuana or fly out from Ontario, which is closest to my house. I was only gonna save a hundred, a hundred and fifty bucks if I, I save myself. Like if I would have, if I would have drove all the way to Tijuana, I would have saved hundred fifty bucks per se. But to cross CBX, to pay for parking, pay for gas, and then two hour drive back when we land back. When I landed on Monday at eleven p.m., I did not want to do anything but sleep. I was hasta la madre. Estaba en el aeropuerto todo el día. Dije ya no quiero alcohol y porque estaba esperando. There was a couple more shots happening, but um, three days of party. You had your three days of party. I had my three days of nonstop party. Mm-hmm. And something, I mean, esta botella, it has like the little barcode, and everybody knows when it has a barcode, it's in Mexico. And I bought this one. I was talking to Jorge Nadri. La compré en el Oxxo. 7 Eleven from out there. 7 mm-hmm. Eleven. Bought it at the Oxo. Dije, when we get to Airbnb and in Tequila, we're gonna be pounding this this bottle. We're gonna party. Mm-hmm. Da da da. You see it. It's pretty full. 
never really touched it until right now because, bro, what the hell is it? We went through 55 bottles of tequila within five hours. Jeez. And, bro, that's no mames. The wait, la mesera, not even the mesera, the bartender, she would literally grab a whole cup, pour the fucking tequila in there, and just give it to you. Ah, pues por eso se acabó, güey, no mames. No, güey. <laughs> so you were <laughs> there. <laughs> Ahí estabas pasando la, the, el vaso a cada vez. ¿Qué es, qué es? Es un shot, es un shot. So she poured a whole fucking shot in a cup. So it was like, oh, shit. But you it was. Bust, you busted Jose. You oh, yeah. Jose, no way. Yeah, because empezamos con palomas. Y luego empezamos con cerveza. Y luego de cerveza, puro shots, cantaritos. Un pedo. But at the end of the night, we ended at one of your favorite places. Los tacos. Los tacos. Best food. Eh, one of the best foods out there. But three is a party and the wedding was crazy. Met a lot of influencers. Met a lot of new people. Um... Met Mando and Liddy from uh, La Cruda Realidad Podcast out from Florida, or the owners of Guares. Ramiro was there. I mean, just partying with everybody, bro. That shit was, shit was a movie. Was but there's there's a dilemma me and Dylan have. Because <laughs> I told him, he was like, dude, next year we got to go to Coachella. Da, 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 da. I was like, no, I cannot do a f- music festival. I cannot do a music festival. That was my first time going to Coachella, by the way. All right, so talk to us. <sighs> talk to us about Coachella. It was stressful as fuck. <laughs> it was stressful as fuck because I found out that two of my my friends were going. Uh-huh. And they invited me last second, literally that week. They invited me, and obviously you were going to be gone. And mm. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do this weekend? So yeah. I was like, fucking, I'll buy some Coachella tickets. Bought them off an app. I'm not going to say the name of the app. Bottom off that. Cause, okay, so that's, that's, that's a different story right there. That fucking so, app, fuck you. I bought them off an app. They came in like a day and a half, probably two days. So I bought them on Monday. Coachella was Friday. I bought them on Monday. The tickets got here Wednesday. Uh, the, if you guys don't haven't been to Coachella, the little wristband has a code in the back. You have to register on the Coachella app. It wasn't going through. It said, check your code, check your code. And I thought it was because... The amount of people that were trying to sign up at that time yeah. was fucking up the, the system or something. I was like, oh, okay, well, once I get over there, I'll do it. Well, yeah, went to Target, got the Target run, uh, got the essentials, everything, alcohol, todo. We got to the hotel. We're all chilling. Boom. Day Friday comes, Coachella. Walking in. With no worry in the world. My dumbass hasn't even fucking registered the damn band because it didn't want to go through. So, one of my friends, he's already been there a couple times. He goes, oh, there's someone that's going to help you out there with the band. I was like, all right. <clears throat> they go in, yeah. and I can't get in. I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? So I was like, shit, okay, I'm going to go get in line for a band. So yeah. I go. Once I get to the lady, I explain what's, what's going on. I was like, oh, it's not letting me register and this and that. She goes, oh, like, where'd you buy it and this and that. I was like, well, I bought it off this app. And she goes, oh, well, they scammed your ass. <laughs> I got scammed. <laughs> so what this app did, and I've bought in tickets off that app before. Yeah, so I, I think we was, both, yeah, we both have. We, yeah, so it was, it was, I was trusting this app pretty good. So what they did was that they reported the band missing or lost. And they charged me an extra 40 bucks for a replacement that they never told me about. So the band that had the the code that was able to get in was somewhere else. I have no idea where the fuck it was. It hasn't that, even arrived to my house. That person was probably in the festival using that fucking band. Oh, fucking dropped his ass, bro. <laughs> Damn, whoever that but, uh, was, you're, I hope. So, yeah, like, I explained the situation. She goes, oh, we well, have to call your bank. You have to call that app because they, they did this and that. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, okay. I was like, there's no way I'm getting in today. Yeah. To make it worse, she goes, let me see your hand. So I, I give her, like, I was obviously giving her the code. She cuts that shit on the spot. I'm like, fuck. I look at her like, what the fuck? You know, like, dude, what the hell? So she goes, just so you don't use it again. And she puts it in, like, this special drop box. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I get off. Uh, I get out of line, and I just go sit down. And I'm, like, disappointed as fuck. And I don't want to ruin the experience of my friends, you know? So I don't, I'm like, damn, I don't want them to miss out. So what crossed through my mind, I was like, if I can't get in right now, I'm just going to go back to hotel. 
gonna drink all the fucking bottles of this, <laughs> and I'm gonna cry myself to sleep that night. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to cry myself to sleep that night and then probably go to the after party at, at night, you know? Yeah. So my friends call me, hey, where you at? This, where you at this and that? And I was like, oh, like, I can't get in at all. They're like, what do you mean? So I explained the situation and they were like, oh, we'll get you in somehow. And I was like, fuck. Like, I looked at the fences. I was like, if I jump this right now. I was like, bro, I jumped okay. the border. You think I can't jump a seven foot wall? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, they're like, oh, we'll figure it out for you. Don't worry. And I was like, oh, okay, like, I'm here stressing the fuck out. Like, I don't want to fuck up their experience. Yeah. And one of my friends, he wanted to see Becky G so freaking bad. So, so bad. And Becky G started at six. Becky G started at six. And I was having issues and everything, like, at 530-ish type of thing. Uh, wait, so you guys got... What oh, we got that late. We got oh, I was late. about to say, the festival started that late? Yeah, we got that. We had other things to do before that, so yeah. we got there pretty late. So he was, he was like, oh, I'm going to go meet up with my friends and this and that, and I'm going to try to go see Becky G. Yeah. And I was like, okay. My other friend, she was like, oh, like, I'm going to get you in. You're not going to be left outside and this and that. I was like, fuck. I heard gas, you know? Boom, comes back. She goes, let's dip. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I told you I can't get in. Yeah. She goes, she shows me and she has a band. She goes, I got you a band. Let's fucking go. I was fuck. like, swear. <laughs> so shout out to her. I got inside. We were literally running to go see Becky G because homeboy was like so desperate. You running? G. Oh, we're you, running. Bro, you don't even. Oh, we're you know, running. Anybody that knows Dylan right now knows he has not ran in his fucking <laughs> life for the last like three years. I've yeah. seen this guy even like ref on, on the weekend with his dad. He doesn't even run there. He just walks him. I run that. that. <laughs> like I said, hey, relax. I called this. So we were running. It was pretty hot that day. So once we got to Becky G, we couldn't get any clothes because obviously Becky G has already, was already really. started. Um, we're just chilling, sweating our asses off. <laughs> she brings out a Marca MP and Peso Pluma. <laughs> Fucking bangers. Y perdimos al otro. We lost homeboy. He just wanted to be in the front so freaking bad. He just started going through everyone. Fuck. And we couldn't keep up. We're like, fuck, all right, we're just going to chill here. Nah, dude. It, I think... Once alcohol is involved in an out loud party, como we dicen, didn't even drink. Como dicen, Mario Berra. We didn't even drink. No, but it's an, it's an ambiente, like being in the whole mix, it's everything and more. I'm sure the festival, is, it's a lot tougher <clears throat> because it's thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. Over here, and the, just the pre-wedding, Jorge was supposed to cut us off at nine. Supposed to. Supposed to. The music did not turn off until fucking 10 p.m., Y las botellas seguían. Jeez. Like, literally, following Jorge, pouring shots into everybody. I mean, this was an all-white party. This was... They, they had this big-ass swing at the edge. And they're like, no, that was a swing. I was like, bro, I'm too fat. I ain't going to do that. <laughs> they should go and swing forward. And then, <laughs> dude, just, just rip off. And, yeah. like, I saw my death right there. So I was like, nah, we ain't going to do that. But for the people that asking and were wondering and were like, dude, these stories of the wedding... Wedding of the fucking year. Wedding of the year. I mean, even my mom was talking about that wedding. Bro, everybody and their mothers and grandmas were talking about this. And it and it's something, como lo estaba diciendo Jorge, it's something that you, videos don't do it justice of how amazing and, I mean, I'm, I'm going to use the word beautiful it was. Because from the details of the, of the salons to the cocktail hour to the music to just the service out there. And let me tell you something. Over there, obviously, they have meseras and meseros, like, you know, making sure food is good, drinks are good. But if you give them a little bit of a tip, a couple pesos, you know, a little 100, 200 pesos, shout out to, to la mesera que nos ayudó en esa mesa de como 20. She was bringing 10, 20, 10 to 15 shots at a time to us. Boom. I was like, hey, oh, she wanted a brown. So le di, le di porque shot. Again, shout out Mando, shout out uh, College Dropout over there, Adrian, shout out uh, Ramiro. They thought they could hang with us. They said, oh, nosotros somos un pedo, esa mesa no va. And I'm like, no, no, no. We're a fucking pedo. <laughs> so I told the lady, le di unos 200 pesos. I was like, hey, trae un round of shots. I was like, ahí vamos. Since then, we were dancing on the dance floor. She would come and serve us back up. 
She would bring us a while bottle. dancing. While dancing. She was like, hey, Nesita, because they gave us like a little uh, sippy cup, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> and she's like, ¿Quieres más? And like, sí. And it's like, oh, tequila con agua mineral. Boom. On the spot. There's a period came right back. Boom. Sheesh. Blacked out by the time we got back to the RV or to like the bus. <laughs> Blacked out. I don't know how we did it. I've only seen you black out once. No, this, this was, was funny as fuck. This was crazy because. Las botellas, dijo Jorge, que el día de la boda, unas 100, 130 se gastaron. Sheesh. 130, 140 se botellas. Se las tomaron, ¿qué se gastaron, güey? No, se, se fueron, güey. Desaparecieron esa madre <laughs> se porque tragaron, se, traga, se tragó la tierra. And it was, I mean, it was fun. We saw the entrance. That was really beautiful, which is going to come out in the vlog that we're going to do. Um, the father-daughter dance. Jorge's dance with his mom. Their own dance. The violinist, woo! Oh, that was playing bangers. Just bam, just bangers. And like I said, like, everything from the beginning to the end was amazing. It's a, it's a how-to-be-there moment, but después de que se acabó la fiesta en el salón, we went back to the little uh, outside salón que no estaba the cocktail hour, y siguió la banda Sheesh. por otras dos horas. No, arremánguense porque iba la banda con todo menos vergüenza. Botellas todavía venían. And then the shuttle, which, shout out Jorge and Adri, man. They knew how bad this was going to be. They got shuttles, they got shuttles to shuttles. take us back to downtown <clears throat> or back to the town of Tequila. Para que nadie manejara. So I was rounding up uh, Raul. I was rounding up Jonathan. Bro, like, the ones we didn't find were the twins. <laughs> <laughs> the twins... I told one of them, I was like, hey, where's your sister? We're leaving. <laughs> she didn't reply. Oh, she didn't reply. I, I don't know. I was like, we got to go. Hey. The twins at that, do that. When look, they, drunk, at, they just at, stare at you, bro. At this point, I'm sorry, but <laughs> to each their own, because you got to make it home. Y llegamos. Like, we, as soon as we hit the the bus back, sat down. Just, I woke up and once we were back down and back in downtown. But the Airbnb was still 10 minutes away. Fuck. So we're like, hey, le damos. No, no, ese dinero, no ese dinero. <laughs> Shout out Pepin, bro. Él no enamora nomás las muchachas, enamora familias. The girl he was, like, dancing with, yeah. the dad paid our, our viaje to go take us back to the Airbnb. He was like, yo los patrocino. No se preocupen. Donde quieran. Sas, we got back. <laughs> Passed out, bro. The twins nowhere to be found. Twins nowhere to be found. Nowhere to be found. No, look, Airbnb was sick. We had like eight people in there. <coughs> Everybody was cool. Twins nowhere to be found. But Pepin passed out Entonces on the couch. Ya dormidas, ¿o qué pedo? Se pala. No, there were still people left in the wedding, and we said this was the last shuttle we had to go back. No. Pusieron las sillas así como camitas y se durmieron ahí. No, ¿crees que estaban en el patio, güey? <laughs> <laughs> no, but... De tres días de party, porque el siguiente día todavía siguió... Cantalito es el güero. Mm -hmm. Bro. Oh, I wanted to ask you about that. I've always wanted to go there. We got there late. Just how you guys got late to the event. I, like, every day we got there pretty much late. That shit was a movie. Llegas y la banda está tocando. There are like four different bandas. It's like an outside space, no? Yeah, yeah. Just outside space. La banda está tocando por donde sea. And then... It wasn't that bad. For the big... The big Cantarito... It's three bottles, 4,000 pesos. So 200 bucks. 4, what is it? The dollars at 19 or 20? Yeah, about 200 bucks. But, bro, that shit fucking gave for like two. I don't know. That shit lasted like at least an hour or something. Sheesh. Pounding, pounding. Banda playing right there. Pinche polvada. My boots were brown. They turned white at the end <laughs> of that fucking night. And then in La Esquina... Like, there's a big gap between the fence and, and where everybody's sitting, but it's all dark. No yeah. one can see anything. Ooh. Everybody's throwing up. <laughs> People <laughs> pissing that way. People passed out <laughs> on the tables. I swear to God, we're walking to the restaurant. My own ass, muchachos. All right, let's say, let's say you and I go. ¿Cuántos de esos I'm losing you. Oh, you lose me every single fucking time. I'm losing you for sure then. <laughs> as, in a way, as fucked up as this sounds, I was kind of glad <clears throat> Dylan didn't go. <laughs> Because even here, I lose him. And here, it's un pedo. Like, oh, shit. I believe by the time you're hearing this, the San Diego vlog is already up. Oof. And what a lot of people don't know about that San Diego vlog is the San Diego trip lasted from Saturday to Sunday, Monday morning. Yeah. 
Y la voz. This. But over there. Right, for the first time ever, literally for the first time ever, I blacked out. I blacked out for the first time ever. I literally did, bro. Bro, there's. I think everybody has those moments on that you have to go back on your phone, look at the videos that you've done or messages. I didn't take any pictures or anything. <sighs> that shit was a movie, dog. Like, like, the only thing I was worried about was acting a fool with the people that I was with. Mm. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> bro, okay, so when I'm, I'm drunk. I'm going to take a sip of my Happy Dad's so when uh, I'm drunk, collaboration y'all, y'all, with Y'all bro. that know me, especially this dumbass right here. When I'm drunk, drunk, blacked out, drunk, I'm just like this. Like, no words coming out of my mouth, nothing. Is he is he really saying this? Blast blacked out drunk. And when he's that's blacked out drunk. When I'm drunk, I'm active as fuck. I'm active as uh, fuck. Um, okay. We'll leave him there. <laughs> we'll let him believe that one. <laughs> now over the This is how bad this was. And I believe Adrian, uh shout out college dropout. I think he has his vlog out or is going to. There's a tent, right? In Cantarita El Yeah. Esos güeyes se subieron. On top of the fucking On top of the fucking thing. And they're like on the poles just fucking dancing. There was girls that were on the fucking, on the dirt, fucking twerking on the floor. That shit was a movie, dog. So, tres días de puro party. Back to back to back. Shout out. They did the best. Their wedding planner was probably the best because every event was in the afternoon. <laughs> it was in the afternoon. So, you still got time to recover. Um, but damn, everybody was like worried. Why aren't they together? Why aren't they? Why is he in Mexico? Why is he in Coachella? So when you were in when you were in uh in Mexico, I got a shitload of like messages. Damn, you were not invited to the wedding. Damn, why didn't you go to the wedding? Because you're not cool. You really me. chose Coachella over the wedding. Like, yeah, for you're not cool, dog. I'm not. I'm not cool enough to be at, yeah. at that wedding. You're. You know. You went. Like I, I told you, the way I feel the wedding was even better than Coachella. But wait, casate conmigo so we can go. Yes, su madre, vámonos a la verga. Nah, nah, nah. Hey, shot. Nah, 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 Eres un abogado. <laughs> we'll be there. Nah, but I think it's just, I don't know. I, I, I already have done like life is beautiful, and that was three day wreckage <sighs> in Vegas. But we got there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Came back on Monday. But, like, morning to night, dealing with, like, the shuttle, dealing with the coming back home, dealing with, like, kidding me. Like, I got fucked up before getting there to, like, the life was beautiful. Mm. But then once I'm in there, I'm just, like, sober. This is this is boring. That was that was uh, the first day, Friday. We didn't drink. We, Cap. We didn't have, we didn't have time to, to pregame it at the... At the, at the, uh, we what didn't kind have, of party is this? What? Who did you go with that was, this is boring. <laughs> Who did it not pregame? Dylan, we when, we go, to, to when we go to San Diego, are we not pregaming in the car? Es que, well, okay, not okay, in the car. Like, We're not driving and drinking. We don't do so, that. So this is, this is the thing. We were, we, were, we were supposed to be at an, an event. We were kind of late to that event because <laughs> los dos tenían que maquillar. Los dos tenían que cambiar. Ah, disculpen. Perdonen. I got ready in 15 minutes, bro. I just put whatever the fuck. All of a sudden, you're ready on time, too? What do you mean? <laughs> Look at this guy. Who is he? Who is he? I was ready. He goes to Coachella one weekend, and he's totally new. <laughs> wow. Fuck? But, um, yeah, with the fr- Friday, we, we didn't drink at all. We couldn't pregame it. And uh, Friday, we learned our lesson by buying alcohol inside Coachella. Don't ever fucking buy alcohol inside. How much did you spend? Pues a mí, en, a mí me lo Coachella, compraron. En Coachella, a mí inside. me lo compraron, pero. Inside. Roughly, let's say four drinks, it was like 100 bucks. Four drinks? Oh, it was like, no, no. It was a little bit past 100 bucks. But Thursday, Thursday night we had got there. We, get, we checked into the hotel and we wanted $35. to. Do- <laughs> $35 in El Oxo. Shout out Oxos. Sponsor that, us. I think that was the cost of one drink. I have the picture. I think the drink was it 27 is. bucks. No, nah, but. When you guys bought the drinks, were you guys already drinking? Like prior? No, that was our first drink. I, I, I have a, like I told you, tengo una cosa, man. Don't let me have money when I'm drinking. Oh, yeah. Porque la vas a lo pendejo. Creo que la banda en el cantarito del güero dijo, 10 mil pesos para una hora. I was like, fuck, I don't have 10,000. You know, not that good right here. When then someone paid it. Oh, hell yeah, fool, appreciate you. Si yo, y luego miré a Jorge sacando para otra hora. Y yo, por 
no por pendejo, because, you know, it, we're all having fun. Whatever I had in that fucking, my little uh, young LA side bag, uh -huh. toma Jorge. No, 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 sabes. Yo, the next day, we're going to go eat. Looked in my bag, I was like, fuck. No saqué ayer, güey. I had to check receipts. I was like, fuck, I pulled out this much and I don't have nothing no more? No, güey. No, I believe it. Agarramos el cantarito. Agarramos la put Like, we... How oh, Jorge for the... No, güey. And then to give to them, I said... Oh. No, and then to the... One of the best parts, actually, the food-wise. I think people are wondering, food-wise, what we eat on over there. And I'm going to lie. Guadalajara has some good food. But where are we at in... Uh, pause it. We'll just continue. We good. All good. Oh. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, <laughs> la comida. So the one thing I did want to bring up is, yeah. creo que en Guadalajara está todos restaurantes chingones. Food is amazing. We have some hachilaquiles with carne su jugo. Wow, shout out Pepin that took us shout there. Shout out Pepin. <laughs> Pepin Jr. on TikTok. You know who he is. El pinche Pepin. No, I'm just kidding. ¿Por qué no te cocinó ese, ese güey? <laughs> no, so first time meeting him too. Shout out Raul. He's the one that, that picked me up and and took, literally was fucking the right everywhere. But, mm -hmm. I mean, that's my guy. Shout out uh, Honker uh, Co. Hats right there. Shout out him. Fire shout hats, him out. Fire hats. Fire hats. Um, But this is one of their dudes, and we're riding together. Like, I took that night flight, bro. So when we were going to go eat, I was passed out in the fucking truck. Just, <laughs> what? Where we at? But we had that there. And tequila, there were some good restaurants. But it's mostly just for, like, the, the looks, the posting, whatever. But the day of the Cantaritos, after the wedding, we we're like, yo, let's go try something different. We ended up, like, at this... Um, I want to call it a, what do you say? Like a food court, like a food court, right? There's different restaurants all in one. And we, for some reason, we just like, fuck it. We're just going to sit down here because it's open. So one of the safest thing is, you know, the, bad, the worst thing about being lactose intolerant now is. The cheese. Quesadillas, especially cheese over there. <laughs> like, cheese. no mames, vas a sufrir, güey. <laughs> Vas a estar en el baño y no, no te vas a levantar nada. Yes, this pizza fucking fucked me up. Bro. <laughs> And um, so I got carne su jugo. Mm -hmm. So if anybody knows carne su jugo, tiene la carne, tiene bacon, and it has all the other ingredients, right? They served me the fucking bacon alive. That shit was still see-through. I swear that that shit was see-through, bro. I get it. I'm really looking at it. Get a spoonful, all the bacon was just, and I was like, bro, I can't eat this. Jonathan's, uh, Jonathan's girl, Diana, she's like, no, dude. Like, I'll tell him. I was like, okay, like, fine. I don't know, but I don't, you're kind of picky on eating. You're, you're, you're fucking I was, picky. El puerco estaba vivo, güey. <laughs> ¿Qué quieres que haga? I don't know, If bro, I would have ate you're that. You're fucking picky. No, if I would have ate, if you would have ate that, you would have been sick. Like, oh, okay. We, I had carne su like three days straight, my guy. None of the other ones were alive. You're and like, <laughs> just looking through it. <laughs> so gave it, the guy was like, oh, it's not well done. He's like, okay, takes it back, get the check. Boom, charge it still. So, no, lo comiste? no, no. So we told the girls, like, hey, pues no lo comimos. Oh, dijo que no estaba listo. The, sh the guy, the chef, no, si estaba bien cocido. He's like, oh, si estaba bien cocido, todo te lo van a cobrar. Diana. What the fuck? She was like, oh, está bien, cóbrelo, pero no lo vamos a pagar. <laughs> She's a savage, bro. She's bro, a savage. we were leaving, right? We were leaving. The guy was like, fuck it, we're leaving. I heard the guy, I'm like, I don't apologize, but he was just like, pinche mamón. I was like, mm. walking. Food-wise. So this motherfucker didn't want to accept that nah. his food was wrong. But food-wise, I would say the best one was Arrachera, one of the restaurants on Sunday, and the tacos at night. Tacos at night over there is like McDonald's Jack in the Box night over here. Oh, okay, okay. okay. After a peda, that shit hits. Food in Coachella, was it good? Is it overrated? Because uh, I, I heard it was, it's too expensive and overrated. It was expensive, it was. I think we paid 27 bucks for um, some masala fries. 
What? Yeah, 27 bucks for some asada fries, I think it was. Y but, es que alguien aquí quiere pinchas fries a huevo, a huevo. Que eso but is it like the Alfredo fries? Is it like at least stacked and like at least... No, it was... Fuck. I can't even... The plate was probably like about this it big. It was like fucking this this size of tray, $27. So we were like, oh, let's be smart about it. You know, you want to share the fries. And so el otro being fucking financially smart, you know, fuck. Uh, bro, this, this is like, fuck, I just... <laughs> Pícale poquito y ya se acabó, you know? Like, it wasn't even something big. We're expecting something big and no. Yeah. It just, but, um, yeah, the food was just, I think we, we, looked, we looked at that problem on Wednesday. We're like, okay, uh, we're going to get back to the hotel, hungry and yeah. this and that, porque la comida ya una dos está cara o there's a big line. Yeah. Or we don't want to waste money, you know? So we would always get to the hotel and just make PB and J sandwiches. <laughs> Those <Damn. laughs> just yeah. Falling yeah. on a budget. Falling on a budget. Well, but that's cool because even the that San Diego that San Diego uh, trip that we had. What did we do? I you bought fifty dollars worth of pizza and two slices. Oh <laughs> fuck! I did, huh? You did, and right, then so we I didn't get at, full, and then we ended up at fucking Subway that was open twenty four hours let me too. Tell, let me see, because I have the video of Subway too. <laughs> so we got out. We got out the club. I was. Fucked up. I was fucked up. There's a 7 Eleven and there's a there's a pizza uh, place right, right next to 7 Eleven. So he's like, Hey, I'm gonna go get some sweat on shit for tomorrow. I was like, All right, I'm gonna get a slice of pizza. You want a slice of pizza? He's like, Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I was like, All right, quanto va costar pizza slice of pizza? Seven dollars max a slice, you know? Yeah. So we go. I was like, Hey, let me get two two slices of pizza. La pinche línea estaba larga, boy, because everyone was out, out of the club. Yeah. I was like, Let me get two slices of pizza. He goes, Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pinches. Microwavable, nasty slices of pizza, but I was hungry. Uh, he was like, "Oh, it's gonna be, uh, I think, like forty-seven dollars." I think it was. It was forty-seven dollars. Y el wait, Daniel pinche descaro. Homeboy was just like, "Oh, I threw in a Red Bull for you." Fuck your Red Bull, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? And we still want to go spend like another thirty dollars at fucking Subway because we were still hungry. We were Two still slices of pizza, forty-seven dollars. What the fuck? And no, woke up. Still fucking starving because I wasn't. We didn't really eat anything that day besides like I think once. He was mad at me that night. He was mad at me for some reason that night. Oh yeah, we were eating. We were eating somewhere just quiet as fuck. It, I think it was because after after when we left the hookah lounge, the whatever you did at that moment <laughs> and the whole way, oh, yeah, yeah, the true, whole way true, back, true. you were you were like, yeah. So I mean, again, there's been a lot of reasons why we should have. Broken up this fucking podcast already. But. There's been a lot of reasons why we haven't fought yet. <laughs> okay. But for everybody wondering, man, <laughs> it's not that he, he didn't want to go or I, or either or vice versa. It's just powers above us that didn't allow this trip together to happen. But I mean, I I still believe we we're both in our same element that we both love. I love. Being in Mexico, I love with the botas, la banda, and everything. And he does too, but he want to go see one of his favorite artists or the dope. favorite artist that he has, fucking Bad Bunny, and everybody else that was there and the events that he was in and stuff like that. So I'm sure he's going to be digging into the, the, the files to try to get videos out so we can post it on the vlog all together. Mm -hmm. But no, guys, we're not breaking up. You guys can't break us up. <laughs> I know you. some people hate the relationship that we have, but we're <laughs> fucking tight as a motherfucker. We're like PB&J, dog. We go together. Even sometimes, though I don't like PB&J. I don't like, P, uh, I don't like I don't, PB&J anyway, but. I know, sometimes I don't like the jam or the jelly on it, but. Que no más que me den pinche pan y jamón y ya. No quiero nada, güey. I had a couple questions on, because I, I, I put a story and I asked. Was was questions. Right, what was it? What was it? One of the questions was, uh, was Coachella worth it, or was it overhyped? Oh, here it is to end it out. For is it the worth first it? time going to Coachella, it was a pretty chill and great experience. But I feel like Coachella is not, um, what do you call it? Overrated. It's just the people you go with. It's the people you go with. Because if you go alone, you can experience so much. If you go with the right people, you can, you can have a different experience. So it, it depends who you go with and what are your intentions to go. If you're, bro, there's a lot of people just fucked up there, bro. If your intention is to go get fucked up and see, like, a concert, then yeah. I saw you. But if you're just, like, healthy, way to enjoy the weekend, then it's yeah. pretty good. So. Yeah. 
Definitely not over overrated, especially the artists that were there. They were pretty dope. And the people that they brought out was dope, so. And I, I think some of the only questions <laughs> that I had, because, I, I mean, I was posting a lot regardless, um, is how did, how did we meet Jorge and Adri? We met Jorge and Adri because last year, shout out Jonathan. Yeah. We met him at Dandy Hat's, uh, uh, one of his pop-ups, and he invited us to the rancho that he has, his family has, which we met Jorge and Adri, and we met El Plebe, we met Danny, we met everybody else. And then from there, I think like two, three months later, we finally sat down for a podcast. So from the podcast, again, we always we always go with the right intentions of not just the moment, but to have a relationship outside of the podcast. And, I mean, los hicimos bien amigos, and shit. That's why we were invited, both invited to, to the wedding. Um, it's just... Hopefully the next time a big event like that happens over there, we can both go. But until then, I mean, we're gonna we have planned a couple trips coming up, and it, I hope they they all work out for. I hope all the reasons work out, but we are doing the work, man. It's been constant. Sure. We love you guys so much for for following, for supporting, for subscribing, for sharing. Shit, I think we're almost at like 45k on IG. Yeah, we're going. Getting, we're getting up there on IG. Almost 13k subs on on YouTube. <clears throat> TikTok is blowing up right now, but this wouldn't be possible without none of you guys and the fucking duel that we have, dog, and everybody yeah. uh, that's with us. Shit, this is this is a toast of life. We don't miss. Sometimes I want to fucking drop you, but I love you, dog. Sometimes <laughs> I, sometimes I just want to fight you. Remember, guys, if they're drunk. He's going to black out. If you sock him, he won't remember the next day. Just blame it on somebody else. So, if you see Dylan with a black eye one day, one Sunday afternoon. That's the only way he's going to be able to fuck me up when I'm blacked out. <laughs> but this is, we love each other. So, <laughs> a toast to life. Yeah, se me acabo esta. But right, we'll, we'll finish it off with the, with, the, with the toast. I know, a toast to life. Toast. Here, for everybody. <clears throat> if you're watching this in the morning, which they go up at 5 in the morning, drink coffee. Drink coffee, please. Drink yeah, an yeah, energy don't, don't drink. Drink coffee. It gives you chorma. <laughs> okay, go, go get pajaretes in the morning. Oh, we got to go try the pajaretes. We do. That shit gave me chorro, <laughs> but this shit was worth it. That shit was worth it. <laughs> but here's this. <sighs> no, I was kidding. That was not that bad. Cause, oh, fuck. What? Yeah, I said the tequila was pretty bomb. <laughs> Yes, I think it is with one. But it's also like podcast. Make sure you subscribe. We don't fucking miss a Monday. We won't miss. And especially because my guy Pepe always reminds me, you say it, so you got to stay with it. So we won't miss. And Yes, sir. I mean, it wasn't really a lot of cheese, man. It was just kind of a recap of the fucking weekend, of what, we, what happened. There's and cheese, man, but I, I don't like to, to spread cheese, man, so I'm good. Yeah, we'll get down in another video. Make sure you subscribe. <laughs> I'm down. I'm fucking down. Don't try me. <laughs> you already know. There we go.